okay, good day. Our group will discuss on the synthesis of 2D nanomaterial by using physical vapor deposition PVD. Our group member consists of me, myself, Ko, Faris, and Imran. So, what is PVD? It describes the vacuum prepper deposition method which can be used to produce thin, thin film and coating. PVD is characterized by a process in which the material goes from condensed phase to a vapor phase and then back to a thin film condensed phase. What are the components involved? It includes material for deposition, a sample, mobile shield, a chamber wall, a turbo pump, rough pump, and so crystal sensor and pressure sensor. How is the process in, in PVD taken place? So first, a rough pump reduces the pressure inside the chamber to around 1000 Pascal. As you can see from the diagram, the air inside, inside the chamber is moving out. Next, a turbo pump reduces pressure inside the chamber to less than 10 to the power negative 2 Pascal to create a vacuum like situation in the chamber. UGT heating vaporizes the source material. And then, quad sensor is used to set the vaporization rate. Once the desired rate is set, the shield will move out of the way. This, then, the resisting heating vaporizes the source material onto the sample. The vaporizer source sample impinges on the substrate surface where it settles and condenses. Once a film on desired thickness is obtained, the shield is returned and resisting heating slowly seeds. This results in a thin film or soft material covering the sample surface. What are the requirements for the process? The process must occur in vacuum chamber. The workpiece act as a cathode and the metallic source material act as an anode. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of the PVD process? Advantages The PVD coatings are sometimes harder and more corrosive resistant than coating applied by electroplating process. Most coatings have high temperature and good impact strength, excellent abrasion resistance and are so durable. This process also causes limited damage to the sample and they are more environmental friendly than traditional coating processes such as electroplating and printing. The disadvantages are some PVD technologies typically operate at very high temperature and vacuum, and this will cost higher. It requires cooling water system to dissipate large heat. There are two types of PVD which are vaporization which has been discussed earlier and sputtering which will be shown in the next video. The plasma consists of argon atoms, positively charged argon ions, and free electrons. Positively charged argon ions are continuously generated by electrons hitting the argon atoms. The sputtering target is negatively charged. Therefore, the argon ions are attracted towards its surface. Let's see what happens. The argon ions collide with the target and eject molybdenum atoms from its surface. This is what the sputtering process is all about. In a way, it resembles a game of billiards, don't you think? Layer by layer, the ejected molybdenum atoms are deposited onto the glass substrate opposite the sputtering target. But let's go back to the target material. No metal can be made 100% pure. Iron or chromium impurities in molybdenum targets.